significant upheaval is on the horizon, as per the insights of Dolores Cannon. These words act as a potent reminder of the profound shifts occurring in our current times. It requires great courage to truly understand the scale of the transformations taking place on our planet and to wholeheartedly accept the roles we've opted to fulfill in this cosmic narrative. In this video, we'll explore the profound insights derived from Dolores Cannon's work in the third book of the Convoluted Universe series and delve into the implications of these teachings for our individual journeys and collective evolution. As we embark on this exploration, let's begin by acknowledging the courageous souls who volunteered to incarnate on Earth during these tumultuous times. Within the grand tapestry of existence, we aren't mere spectators, but active participants in a cosmic transformation. Each one of us chose to depart from the comfort of our spiritual abode to be present during these monumental shifts in consciousness and energy. Why did we volunteer for this mission? What is the significance of the changes that have been alluded to? To grasp these questions, we must first recognize that we are undergoing a profound shift in the very fabric of our reality. It's not just a shift in our external circumstances, but also in our internal vibrations and frequencies. The crux of the matter lies in the acceleration of energies and the elevation of vibrations sweeping across our dimension. These changes aren't abstract concepts. They are tangible forces reshaping our reality. But why are they happening and what is their purpose? The essence of it all is that we are in the midst of a grand cosmic transition, a transformation so profound that it surpasses the boundaries of human comprehension. This transition involves a multifaceted process encompassing the Earth's response to natural forces, human actions, and the arrival of new energies and beings beyond our conventional understanding. Much like a ship navigating through turbulent waters, we are now entering a phase of tremendous turbulence in our collective journey. The question is, are we prepared for what lies ahead? Do we possess the inner strength and grounding required to weather the storms fast approaching? It's easy to theorize about change and transformation when they remain distant concepts. But when these shifts start manifesting in our physical reality, the challenge becomes all too real. The crucial lesson here is that understanding and preparation are not enough. We must embody our wisdom. When faced with the chaos of transformation, envision a world in which people are disoriented, confused, and in profound pain. Picture the upheaval caused by both natural calamities and the consequences of human actions. Imagine the arrival of new energies completely unfamiliar to our current state of awareness. This scenario may sound overwhelming, but it is precisely the reality we are moving towards. In these times of turbulence, those who have cultivated inner stability and a deep sense of grounding will emerge as beacons of light amidst the chaos. The magnitude of the task may be daunting, but it is also a profound opportunity for growth and service. It is our role to provide reassurance and support to those who find themselves lost and bewildered. But can we truly maintain our composure amidst such turmoil? Human nature often crumbles in the face of chaos. Yet, it is precisely in these moments that our presence and energy are most needed. It's not a matter of deciding whether others will listen to us or not. Instead, it's about becoming vessels of tranquility, embodying calm amidst the storm, and radiating that stability to those around us. Think of yourself as a lighthouse standing firm against the raging sea, guiding ships safely to shore. Your presence alone can make a world of difference to those who are struggling to find their way. Anne, a client of Dolores Cannon, stands as an exemplary individual who has undergone essential training through life experiences to maintain calm amidst chaos. Her childhood, characterized by abusive and unstable parents, along with her tumultuous marriage served as her training grounds. These challenging trials have equipped her with the resilience needed to navigate the turbulent waters of change. Anne's journey serves as a poignant reminder that our past experiences, no matter how challenging, can prepare us for the roles we have chosen to fulfill in these transformative times. Now, let's delve into the concept of the two Earths. 
a topic widely discussed in spiritual and metaphysical circles. According to these teachings, we are moving towards a separation into two Earths, the Old Earth and the New Earth. The Old Earth represents the familiar world where the majority cling to their existing belief systems and vibrational frequencies. This reality will persist for those who choose to remain in it or are not yet ready to embrace the changes. The old energies and paradigms will endure, but they will no longer dominate the universe. In contrast, the new Earth signifies a higher vibrational state, a dimension where individuals have aligned their energies with the accelerating frequencies of transformation. It is a world where old limitations and paradigms no longer hold sway, a realm where new possibilities and potentials become accessible. However, this transition is not without its challenges, as turbulence and chaos will be experienced on both the old and new Earth. Turbulence on the old Earth arises from the dismantling of belief systems, societal structures, and the awakening of individuals to truths that were previously concealed. It's crucial to recognize that this turbulence extends beyond external factors like natural disasters or political upheaval. It is also driven by the resistance of those in power who refuse to relinquish control and acknowledge the changing tides. Their attempts to maintain fear-based manipulation are evident in the propagation of fictitious threats such as diseases and conflicts. Fear as a tool of control has been deeply ingrained in human societies for ages. It is the means by which individuals have been kept in check, their power diminished, and their minds enslaved. However, as the energies of transformation surge, fear is being brought to the surface, exposed, and confronted. The media and entertainment industries have long played a role in perpetuating fear by focusing on negative and sensationalized content. Yet, in the age of information and connection, these fear-based narratives are losing their grip on the collective consciousness. People are beginning to think for themselves, questioning the stories they've been told and the realities they've accepted. This awakening process is not without its challenges as individuals confront their own fears and demons. Nevertheless, it is a necessary step toward liberation. Conflicts, diseases, and other fabricated threats are tools employed by those in power to instill fear and maintain control. While these threats may exist as energetic potentials, they are often exaggerated to serve an agenda. It is crucial to discern between the narratives presented by the media and the actual realities we face. As individuals awaken to the truth, they reclaim their power and release the shackles of fear. It is a cleansing process akin to purging toxins from one system. However, those in power resist this transformation, desperately clinging to their illusion of control. They will continue to employ fear-based tactics until they push humanity to a choice. This is where our role as grounded and stable beings becomes paramount. We are not here to impose our truths upon others. Instead, we are here to provide a source of calm amidst the storm, a beacon of reassurance for those in confusion. Our mere presence can be a lifeline for individuals on the verge of making a vibrational leap. Envision the potential chaos that may unfold when the illusions shaping people's lives are shattered. Picture a world where individuals run through the streets gripped by fear, their belief systems in ruins, a scenario reminiscent of global-scale natural disasters, amplified manifold. The turbulence we discuss extends beyond external events. It encompasses the inner turmoil of individuals confronting the dissolution of their long-held beliefs. In many ways, this inner chaos can be more disorienting than external calamities. Yet, amidst this chaos, there exists a profound opportunity for those who have chosen to be present in these transformative times. We are called to be present and ready, like soldiers lining up for a mission. Our mission is to maintain our grounded energy, stand firm in our truth, and extend a hand to those teetering on the precipice of vibrational choice. In this context, vibrational choice refers to a crucial moment in an individual's spiritual growth. There may come a time when a soul stands at the crossroads of vibrational evolution. They may have the opportunity to ascend to a higher vibration, provided they summon the courage to take the leap. Alternatively, 
they may choose to remain in their current vibrational state. Our role in such moments is to be the hand extended to those souls contemplating the leap into higher consciousness. We become the catalysts for their ascension, the bridge between their old and new selves, an act of service that can alter the course of a soul's journey. The higher vibration, the new earth, is not exempt from turbulence. It is crucial to dispel the misconception that the new earth is a utopian paradise free from challenges. It is simply a different vibrational frequency, a realm where individuals have aligned themselves with the energies of transformation. The turbulence experienced on the new earth is of a different nature. It is not the chaotic dismantling of belief systems, but rather the exploration of new frontiers of consciousness. The challenges faced here are growth oriented as individuals adapt to a higher vibrational existence. The teachings emphasize that the chaos we discuss is just the beginning of a much larger process. The events and upheavals we witness today are precursors to a deeper transformation unfolding in the coming years. This transformation has been prophesied by many, and while we may not add much to those prophesies, our role in this process is of paramount importance. We are living in a time of unprecedented change, where the very fabric of our reality is being rewoven. As the structure of governments crumbles and societal safety nets unravel, individuals will find themselves in uncharted territory. The comforts of social security, stable paychecks, and conventional jobs may no longer be guaranteed. The analogy of a domino effect is apt here as one piece falls, triggering a cascading sequence of events. Similarly, the breakdown of societal structures will create a domino effect of transformation, challenging individuals to adapt to a new way of life. Consider the scenario of natural disasters magnified on a global scale. These disasters, whether triggered by natural forces or human actions, will be among the catalysts of chaos. Some of these events may be beyond our control, while others may be instigated by those in power who resist the changing tides. The resistance of those in power is a critical aspect of the turbulence we face. Like a child refusing to accept the truth, they cling to their old ways and attempt to perpetuate fear to maintain control. They are driven by the desperate belief that by sowing fear, they can slow down the process of change. It is imperative to understand that fear has been a central tool of control in human societies for countless generations. Fear is the currency by which many have maintained power and dominance. It exists in varying degrees across all societies, creating a pervasive atmosphere of unease. The changes we speak of are not merely external events, but shifts in the very consciousness of humanity. The emergence of new energies, new information and new possibilities has rattled the foundations of the old world order. The fear-based systems that once held sway are unraveling and people are awakening to a new reality. The advent of technology and global communication has played a pivotal role in this awakening. It has allowed individuals to access information, connect with like-minded souls, and challenge the narratives propagated by those in power. The fear that was once hidden beneath the surface is now rising to be addressed and released. The process of transformation is akin to a cleansing. It brings to the surface the fears and issues that have long been dormant within individuals and society as a whole. These issues, whether on a personal or collective level, must be confronted and transmuted for the energy to flow freely. Blockages, whether they stem from karmic issues or self-induced diseases, are being brought to the surface by the surge of new energies. These blockages represent a rise of resistance within individuals that inhibit their vibrational growth. They manifest as physical symptoms, diseases, and emotional challenges. This process is not gentle. It is akin to a storm within the soul, shaking loose the debris of old wounds and unresolved issues. It is an opportunity for profound healing and growth, but it requires active participation from individuals. They must be willing to address the root causes of their blockages and release the energies that no longer serve them. In essence, these symptoms and challenges are manifestations of the acceleration of energies and the elevation of vibrations. They are signs of the profound shifts occurring within us and around us. It is a reminder that we are in the midst of a grand transformation and our bodies and minds are adjusting to these new frequencies. As we navigate this turbulence, we may encounter resistance from those who are deeply entrenched in the old paradigms. 
They may react with fear, anger, or denial when confronted with new truths. It is essential to approach these interactions with compassion and understanding. We cannot force others to see the world as we do or to embrace the changes unfolding. Each soul has its own journey and its own timing. Our role is not to convince or convert, but to be a living example of the higher frequencies we embody. In the face of resistance, we can ask ourselves, how can I be a source of love and light in this situation? We can choose to respond with kindness and empathy, even in the face of hostility. It is in these moments of grace that we have the greatest potential to inspire change. The turbulence we are experiencing is a reflection of the collective shadow coming to the surface. It is the unveiling of long buried wounds, both individually and collectively. It presents an opportunity to heal and integrate these aspects of ourselves. As we confront the darkness within, it's crucial to remember that it's not something to be feared or rejected. The shadow is a part of us, holding valuable lessons and insights. Embracing and transforming our shadow is the process through which we can fully embody the light. The turbulence also acts as a catalyst for awakening. Though awakening can be a challenging and disorienting process, it may feel like we're losing our footing in a world that no longer makes sense. There's the temptation to retreat into old patterns or seek refuge in distractions. In moments of doubt and confusion, we can remind ourselves of our purpose and mission, asking, why did I choose to be here now? What is the higher purpose behind the turbulence I am experiencing? Helps us realign with our soul's path and find meaning in the chaos. The teachings underscore the importance of staying connected to our intuition and inner guidance. To connect with our intuition, we must cultivate a sense of inner quiet and stillness, learning to trust the subtle nudges and insights that arise from within. In these moments of inner knowing, clarity and direction can be found. During turbulence, it's easy to become overwhelmed by external events and lose sight of our inner strength. It's essential to remember that we're not victims of circumstance. We're co-creators of our reality. The power to shape our experiences lies in our thoughts, beliefs, and intentions. Navigating this turbulence calls for being grounded, resilient, and connected to our inner guidance. We're invited to cultivate physical, emotional, and mental well-being, as well as deepen our spiritual connection. We have a unique role to play in this transition to a new earth, where higher frequencies of love and unity prevail. Amidst the chaos, we are the stabilizing force, the beacons of light and love offering guidance and support to those in confusion and fear. Our journey isn't without challenges, but it's a journey of profound meaning and purpose. It's a journey of awakening to our true nature as spiritual beings and co-creators of our reality. In uncertainty, let's remember that we're not alone. Supported by a vast network of spiritual guides, higher beings, and cosmic forces, we are part of a greater tapestry of existence. Our individual choices and actions have a ripple effect on the collective consciousness. Collectively, we have the power to mold a world that mirrors the loftiest aspirations of the human spirit and the divine potential inherent in each of us.